when you were younger, were you able to eat whatever you wanted and you kind of still stayed thin? I know. And now fast forward to now. You're struggling to keep the weight off? I know. So this happened also to Jerome Turner. But hear his story and what inspired him to lose the weight. Take a listen. Before we talk about, you know, fitness and weight loss and how people struggle with those extra pounds that they want to shed, and we know how, we know how hard that is. Uh, tell me a little bit about you, your background. Where are you from? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, I love that area. I know. It's a nice place. Great it's a nice people place. there. I know. It was tough the year we went uh, when the Browns were on 16. It was tough. You know, <laughs> you know I, stuck it, I stuck through it. You know, I stuck that through it. That was bad. That was bad. I didn't want that to happen, but... Okay, but there's gonna be a turnaround. Last year was a little better. Much better. Yeah. Much better, much so better. you're doing good. You're on the road and you yes. got you you guys received a great player. Well who was it? Uh Odell Beckham. 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 With that little doesn't he do the dance? He does the dance with the, with the blonde hair. <laughs> I love Beckham. Okay, so uh, what was it like in Cleveland, Ohio growing up, your childhood? Uh born in nineteen eighty two. Um, oh gosh, you're a baby. <laughs> summer, summer baby. Um I don't remember those years, but um, oh, look at that you. That guy, that guy, here he go, right? You're so cute. So it was, I was a typical kid, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, cold cereal, Captain Crunch. Um, Captain Crunch. Yeah, He-Man, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Thundercats. <laughs> you know, typical, riding a bike, playing video games. And your hobbies, did you have an interest in <sighs> hobbies as a kid, outdoors? The, um, my biggest outdoor hobby first came, it was football. Oh, okay. Football. Love football, um, too. Tackle football. I was shocked. I was shocked. My mother let me play tackle football at the um, local park with equipment. Um, after football came basketball because of the height. The girls. Yeah, you're pretty tall. How tall are you? Six seven. Oh my word! Yeah. Wait, let's just do this for fun, real quick. Here Stand up next to me. Let's just see real quick, because I'm like really tall. <laughs> okay. Tall. He's tall. So, I'm only five two. But the trick is, the trick is to wear two pairs of socks, and you you'll be taller. So, <laughs> um, so what happened was, um, I'm six seven. I stopped growing at fifteen. Oh I started gosh. growing out wider and thicker. What size uh, shoe do you wear? I wear twelve. I don't have big feet. Oh, look at that. I have small hands. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I was supposed to be short. I don't know. But <laughs> the growth spurt hit, and so basketball took over. I love basketball. It took over. Did you see the Raptors one? I saw the Raptors one. I can't believe it. Wow. Yeah. I'm going for Golden State. I'm going to go for the Raptors. Really? It's across the pond from Cleveland, so I'm going to go with the You're Raptors. going for the underdog. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what did you kind of dream as a kid? Obviously, you love sports, football, basketball. Very Obviously, you came from a good family. Good family. You, you, um, you dress really nice. I could tell your mama took care of you. She did. She raised me well. She did raise me well. What, my dreams as a child was to be an actor. That's the first thing I ever wanted to do. You before, have that look. Before sports, it was acting. I wanted to be like Red Fox. Red Fox? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I wanted to be a comedian. And then what happened? Uh, I went to school for theater. I've been doing stand-up comedy. So I did pursue those things. I've been doing movies and commercials as of now. I'm here now. So the dreams that I had at seven years old, I'm living them now. I'm, I'm proud to say that. Not many people can say that, but I stuck with it. That's and it, good. It, it was, I had moments. Perseverance. Perseverance in my 20s where it didn't look like it was going to happen. Uh -huh. Full-time jobs, living in Cleveland, no acting there. But if there's a will, there's a way. And talk about perseverance, because let me tell you, Jerome really has perseverance. Uh, I don't know much about it, but you can fill me in. Uh, uh, the perseverance of uh, a huge transformation of a weight loss. What happened and where did you, oh, look at the difference. Look at those abs. So, okay, so the, the before picture is this. Um, I was a boxer. And my championships, I had three championships as a fighter in my 20s. That picture came at the, at the age of maybe 31. Um, in my 20s, I was ripped to shreds. But around 33, 34, that's when I got a call from the WWE. And they wanted me to put on like 80 pounds. Ooh. So I put the weight on, but I didn't put it on the right way. I didn't put it on with muscle. It was a little bit of muscle, but mainly fat. That's got why it. you saw my midsection yes. protruding. That's something I'm going to get into later in the show. But in the midst of me losing that weight, that's when the after picture came. We'll save the secrets later for the that. The secrets to get like that. And yeah. that's what we're going to be talking about today, how to get like that. Before we take that picture out, oh, can we put it back on, Erlen, yes. please? I love my director. He always listens to me and does what I ask. Thank you, sir. Who is that lovely lady? Um, that lady is my wife, Aww. who's here today. She, she looks pretty petite. How? She's petite. She, um, I trained her to do bikini competition also. 
Wow. How awesome. tall is she? She's 5'2". Oh, just like me. Yeah, 5'2". Look at five that. 5'2". Oh, fantastic. Yes. Okay, so how much weight, um, how did the weight limit you, let's just say? Because a lot of people, Ooh. when they want to lose weight and they have a lot of weight, it kind of limits them. They have breathing issues. Yeah. Uh, Stamina is not great. Um, there's just so many issues health-wise, too. Did it limit you? V very much so. Um, I, six foot seven, I got up to a total of 311. 311 pounds, that's the most I ever weighed. And how did it limit me? Breathing, not so much because I was already in shape, but I saw a difference from being 311 to being my normal 240, 230. Um, it was just, uh, my veins were starting to pop out, like varicose veins around my knees, because that's where most of the pressure were. Absolutely, that's dangerous um, too. Very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure, I never got checked, but I'm pretty sure I was probably pre-hypertension. I was gonna say that. Just too much nonsense. I was eating junk food. I didn't know how to properly put the weight on the right way. I learned now, but at that time, it was an issue. Exactly. Okay, so then you decided to become a trainer. What kind of athletes did you start training? I think uh, we have a picture of you with the Miami Heat. I was just gonna say, the first group of guys early, early in my career was Le from the left to the right. Is that LeBron? That's Chris Bosh from the left. Oh, LeBron. That's Chris Bosh. That's LeBron. That's me in the white shirt, and that's D Wade next to me. Oh, wait. And I was at the Fifth Street Gym in Miami. Look um, at Miami you Beach. with those big guys, so, big names. So I'm taller than D Wade. I'm just hunched over in my boxing stands just to let everyone know. But you're not taller than Chris Bosh. I'm not taller than Chris Bosh. Me and LeBron are the exact same height. <laughs> um, but that was a wonderful opportunity, if I may explain. It was on my off day. I was working at the Fountain Blue uh, Miami Beach Hotel. And I got a phone call from my coach. He said, come to the gym. But I'm like, oh, I don't feel like coming, it's raining. So I came to the gym. I said, coach, where's my jump rope? I have a special jump rope for my height. He goes, uh, LeBron has your jump rope. I'm not thinking he's talking about LeBron. I'm thinking somebody else. I said, okay, whatever. So as I'm jumping rope with another rope, LeBron and Wade walks in the gym, playing like little kids. Bosch comes in maybe like a minute and a half later. And then my coach looks at me and say, okay, you're gonna teach today. So I'm like, whoa. Ooh. That was a shock. I had no clue that was happening. So it was Those a one of the best things in life. Very true. Just it, sudden. Improv. Impromptu. It was, them guys are very respectful. They listen. They perform well. Not much technique. But Bosch was the best boxer. Bosch. Yeah. Out of day one, he had the most He's potential. He's a great player. Great yeah. player. Okay, so how cool was that? He went from his weight affecting simple daily activities to now training with big time names, you know, Miami Heat players. That, that is fun. What's the motto? Anything is possible. You can do it.